I've been wanting to do a clunker build for quite a long time. And because of another project, I needed to find a mostly complete Schwinn or cruiser bike from the 40s to 60s, somewhere in that range, to be able to get the parts I need for that build. What that's gonna leave me is essentially a frame. And I'm gonna use this frame to build a clunker bike. Now, for those that don't know what a clunker bike is, in the 70s, when mountain biking was just getting started, folks like Gary Fisher and others would take these old Schwinn bikes, would strip all of the parts they could off of them, would put knobby tires on, and would take them downhill. And that was the early beginnings of, of mountain biking. And so for me to do this build is kind of a tribute to, to that, to that era. And a lot of the messing around that I like to do is very much along those same lines as those early mountain bikers when they were messing around with, with what they had in the garage, what was around with old bikes and giving them new life. We may not do a traditional clunker. I may consider gears. I may keep it single speed. I may explore putting a suspension fork on the front. But when we're done, it's gonna be a clunker bike that I think should be a fun thing to take out and ride around here on the local trails. It'll probably be like super heavy <laughs> though too. So we'll see how it turns out. I actually, I'm not gonna be painting it, so don't freak out. Um, I really love the patina and look on this, this bike and it's pretty solid, but we're gonna have some fun with everything else. So let's get to it.
this build was so fun. Um, I, I don't think I'm even done with it. I want to do a little more. So, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Look for opportunities to give those old things new life. And I'll see you on the next video. Ciao.